Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? Uh, I'm back. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mr. Brokanic, and today we're gonna be building a awning, 10 by 10 awning, in our backyard here. Our backyard. So I'm gonna be building an awning right here, a 10 by 10. I'm gonna do a rough sketch on what I'm gonna be needing and the layout of the awning. Okay, guys. This is my uh, blueprint right here. What I wrote down okay so today we're gonna be needing seven 10 feet pipes four 90 degrees elbows two center connectors one 10 by 10 canopy four wall mounts okay let me explain so these are the four uh, elbows right here center connector and these are the wall mounts we're gonna do uh, four wall mounts and of course the legs and these are the seven pipes we're going to be needing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the we're going to cut in half So for the center connectors. i never done this before. We're just going to do it as we go. So I'm going to go to Home Depot and see what I can get. Okay, guys, I just came back from Home Depot and this is what I got. Uh, I decided to just go with um, one and one fourth uh, pipes, PVC pipes. Uh, strong and... Uh, thick so it'll last uh, under weather um, so I got uh, four center connectors two elbows and um, two elbows with um, one and one and one fourth in and one and one fourth out I'll explain later why I got these odd elbows okay um, I got me a pipe cutter uh, these are the, the wall mounts uh, some cement PVC cement um, bungee cord for the tarp and uh, 8 by 10 feet uh, tarp. It didn't have any 10 by 10 so I just decided to go with 8 by 10. Alright. Okay, these are gonna be the 10 feet PVC pipe we're gonna be using. Alright. Okay, this is gonna be the tools you're gonna be needing. Just a drill with a, a screwdriver or a Phillips screwdriver, a tape measure, and some uh, screws. That we're gonna be screwing on the wall. Okay. All right, guys. Let me explain what's the wood for. Um, this wood was just li lying around the house. It's a half by two and a half inch wood. Um, I cut four pieces of it for the wall mounts. And let me explain. Um, so without this, um, the wall mount is gonna be flush with the wall. And if we put this on, the wall mount, the wall mount is gonna have a gap. So, what I did was, I cut this out, I'm gonna screw this onto the wall, and then screw this one on here, so that way, when I put the connector, it has some space in the bottom so it's flush, versus connecting it like this, and connecting the connectors, you have that gap, right here, so, See, it won't even go down, so that's what I thought of. That's the best way to do it. Screw this onto your wall. Screw this down. So that way, when you want to bring down the the awning, you can still, because it, ha it has a little play. So it's, it creates ca some kind of hinge, so. Alright. Alright guys, here it is. This is pretty much how it's going to look. Laid it out. Before I start cutting. So connected the elbow right here, uh, the floor is going to be the wall, so this is my uh, my uh, spacer right here, the wood, uh, wall connector right here, uh, canopy is laid out, 10 by 8, I'm going to want to have a gap so that way when you tie it down with the bungee, it has a little um, play to it, we're going to be cutting the middle right here for the center connector, again, uh, wall mounts. Two, two in the middle and one in the side. Right here, another uh, elbow connector. So this is gonna be connected to the pipe right here, the side. This one I'm gonna cut it to connect to here, and the leg will come out right here, and so that way it still has a, a play. Okay, so this thing gonna be connected to the side pipe here. This is gonna be connecting to here, and uh, the legs gonna come out right here. And we, we can still move the legs. 
so whatever uh, adjustment we need we can move it to our liking so that's what I, I figured out um, didn't have the the um, the right uh, connector I wanted it I wanted a connector that fits right here uh, a 90 degree el elbow and a, a pipe in the bottom so that way for the legs but this I found a better way so that way we can still adjust the legs all right okay so now we're just gonna cut it to our liking this side is pretty much set all we gotta do is cut the uh, access on this side okay guys when you're done uh, doing your measurements grab your cutter and start cutting I got four of uh, five inch uh, PVC pipes that I cut out. All right, I got three uh, eight and a half center pipes. All right, guys, I'm done with the cutting. This is pretty much how it's gonna look when it's all done on the wall again uh, the elbows uh, wall mounts the wood spacer wall mounts T, T connector elbow wall mount spacer and this is gonna be where the legs are gonna be hooked up I had to cut uh, 4 inches off this pipe right here because we added this um, this connector like what i said it's my first time doing this so pretty much happy with it all right okay uh now what you want to do is uh get your uh pvc cement and cement the top assembly Make sure it's even. Lay the the other end. Lay it lay it on the flat uh the floor like this. Lay it on the floor like this. And then when you connect the other one, make sure it's flat on the ground and glue this on. Yeah, this cement's uh, it's fast to dry, so you gotta be careful with that. One. Yeah, the other piece. Again, make sure that side is laid on the floor correctly so that when you connect it, it's even. Good to go. Okay, now what you want to do is uh, pre-drill your your spacer and your wall mount. Make it center. Alright, all uh, pre-drilled. 
middle bracket, two middle bracket, one on each side. Now we're ready to put it on the wall. You might want to get an assistant to uh, help you to align it on the wall. Okay guys, the wall mount and the spacers on. Nice and tight. All we gotta do now is uh, assemble it. There go. Now what you wanna do is uh, glue the three center poles onto it. Guys, uh, now the bottom part, portion, the front side. But what you wanna glue the center first? Center connection. Make sure straight. Okay, so this corner is kind of tricky, so you don't want to glue this side or this side because you want this to move. You want this to move for the legs. So what you want to do is just glue this side right here. This elbow to this, that's it. Alright, same thing with the other side. Okay, now grab your, your uh, tent and your bungee cord and start strapping from top, side to bottom. Bungee cord right here. All the bungees are on. Four sides, top and bottom. All we gotta do now is uh, put on the legs, which is adjustable. So 
I'll do that right now and I'll show you guys the the final product. So this is how it looks. If it's um down, as you can see it cl uh, covers the window. So if it's too bright outside, you can put this down and have some shade inside your house. All right, looking good. Okay, as you can see, the legs are not cut yet. We're gonna put it on and see um, how high I want it, and it depends on the ground. If it's leveled or not, you can cut it to where um, the awning will be uh, leveled. All right. Okay, guys, the legs are on. Check it out. Nice little uh, awning here. Not bad. So if your house gets too hot, uh, you can always take off the legs and close it down. Hey guys, if uh, you guys like this channel, give me a thumbs up, uh, share, like, subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Alright.